Oh, somebody. remember, it's a French bulldog. French bulldog. Oh, <laughs> I just know how to get rid of my, my doggy friend. You're listening to the Noisy Business Podcast, the unapologetic comedy podcast that takes you deep into the semi-sophisticated mind of Brighton. Have you even heard of the bro code? I've considered selling marijuana, but I just don't know how to get it. Pretty sure that dude's a Nazi. She said my dick was racist. And the untamed imagination of Sean. I never learned how to wash my hands. I was homeschooled, okay? Um, it made me cream my pants. There's people in the audience that need to know we're talking about dicks. <laughs> Sit back and turn your volume down. It's about to get noisy. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Noisy Business Podcast. I am your host, Brayton, and of course, as always, is my friend, Sean. Oh, there's no clever rhyme this time? No, I didn't come up with one on the spot, so uh, you can be just another ass with another from another class. Sure. There you what's go. Up, what's up, guys? Welcome, hey. to, welcome to the latest episode of the Noisy Business Podcast. Today is February 25th, and as we all know, is National Clam Chowder Day, so I am assuming that you ate your clam chowder today. I didn't, but I threw up. You know, um, we can we can talk more about uh, white stereotypes later, because we're going to be talking a, a little bit more about some controversial topics from Coca-Cola Beverage Company. Ooh, they're in some hot water, hot or, water. or a very clam chowdery looking uh i think you're the you, temperature i think you have a broth hot broth they're in a hot, hot broth hot clammy broth mm, mm. that's that's what they would describe it or they would at least they want to get out of it because they want uh everyone to be a little less of a certain color color exactly uh what else is going on uh lady gaga news right oh the uh our home girl got into she's in a little bit of a pickle she's looking for her doggy dog uh -huh. um and also uh muppets racist or not okay. we're gonna get into that we later be, we need to be careful with how many topics we throw out because we definitely usually have a hard out and sometimes we don't hit up on all the topics so we do apologize if it's we don't up hit to up them to keep them. us accountable though yeah you need to stay on us people that's right but okay. we'll, we'll we'll try and help on everything it might be there, there might be a little quick one and twosies we'll that's right. wrap them all around and they'll, we'll have a good time we'll bring it we'll we'll tie it all together a nice neat package for your earbuds and you guys will be you know what you guys are going to listen whether whether or not we tie it all together or not. hopefully all right so let's just jump into it let's okay get this one started lady gaga so uh earlier this week i believe lady gaga and um she has a dog walker in her hollywood hills home as we all do she has three french bulldogs i love french bulldogs they are my favorite second to english bulldogs. english bulldogs yeah right. they're just cute I'm a, little wrinkly chunky I'm a little boys bit, i'm a little bit of a specious when it comes to that that's okay but it's okay you can do that when it comes to uh it dogs comes to dog or Friday. animals yeah so anyway she has a, a paid dog walker who is uh, walking these nice. dogs, and uh apparently uh two of these dogs got dog napped i, I Wait, was gonna say kidnapped but i think two out of the two out of the four two out of the three dogs. two out of the three dogs yep. one of them is a uggo and no one wants it I, I, apparently or or inside job <gasps> oh <laughs> like, this, the dog was like you know what i just looked over over mama gaga's uh will and uh uh there's not enough finances to go around you know i mean sh she was in a, a star is born but since then her last album i don't know this is a savvy dog so he's just like i gotta get these other two dogs out of the picture what you think that the uh this third bulldog uh spoke to lady gaga had her will no, 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 no. Didn't speak to Lady Gaga. Oh, this was, this just rough? Just this... barked at her? <laughs> no, no. She got it. No, she no, got no. it. Like, this dog was kind of ro roaming around the house and just noticed that pa papers were left out, you know, lunch break or something with a uh, meeting with the lawyer uh -huh. or something like that. That it. That if if two of the dogs die before this one, it gets all the it gets all doggy the biscuits. All the dog biscuits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because dogs uh, don't care about money. They all, no, the, no, all no. the toys and biscuits and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. All the so, space. so the dog was just like, hmm, how do I make this happen? So the dog no, no, or no, no. Somebody, Remember, it's a French bulldog. French bulldog. Oh, <laughs> I just know how to get rid of my, my doggy friends. Let me just take a quick cigarette break. <laughs> if only I could get a kin, uh, dog in the bar to, to get these yeah. two bitches out of my life. Yeah, so we don't know. Allegedly, dog inside job we don't know but what we do know is that somebody two people actually pull up in a white nissan altima 
when the, during the middle of this walk. Whoa, they knew to exactly jumped out, make a model. Said they knew they knew that this was Lady Gaga's dog walker and her Lady Gaga's dogs, and they said give us the dogs, and he said no. They shot the man and then took two of the dogs and bailed. Well, I mean, now there's a five hundred thousand dollar reward, half a milli. Half a mil, Ooh. no questions asked. Wait, no questions asked? That's what Lady Gaga said. No questions asked. Um, how familiar is she is is she with these dogs? I don't. Can we just bring her some new dogs? <laughs> Guys, like, a are we about to cash mil? in on a cool uh, five zero? A, a nice, a nice point a five. Nice, yeah, as, yeah. As, as we do say in the business yeah. commune. Well, uh, I mean, in a, in the dog finding community, that's uh, it's I it's mean, huge. Oh, what I my, mean, if you're if you're a dog finder, I mean, we got dog whopper, we got dog whoppers, <laughs> which <laughs> is which is we, a, let's outlawed, not talk about that. An, I, it was a it was a it was something that Burger King tried a long time <laughs> ago, and it was outlawed immediately tanked real quick they only tried that in the third world community like yeah, yeah, in yeah. thailand they tried the dog whopper and anyway so we got dog walkers we got dog kidnappers and yeah. we got dog finders mm-hmm. dog finders is where people collect lost dog signs try to collect out on that money that's right so rewards. They're, they're, rewards. Just, they're just out um they're just out looking for dogs uh, uh oftentimes people call them homeless <laughs> But dog finders all the same. Okay. Because uh, have you seen people, homeless people with dogs? Yeah, it's because they haven't found the owner yet. That's they, right. They you found know, them. They, they, they're very, keeping them. You make a very good point. Homeless people do seem to have dogs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it, yeah. They're, they're just trying point. to return them, but they don't know where them are, where they are. So, you know, the, sure. it's, it's part of the cycle. But uh, so if you're a dog finder, this is like, this is jackpot. This is a jackpot, baby. Sure, and especially if you if you're sitting on. A, but they're but they're they're not they they weren't found. They these you need dogs dog are, rescuers. They need dog rescuers. Okay, down this under. is the opportunity for a dog finder if they've been sitting on two uh, uh, English bulldogs for a while. Like they're, I found two English bulldogs. One of them's got like a stump, but and her dogs the other one, French bulldogs. The other one's got a temper. Oh but no, we're gonna need to, uh, we're gonna need, need to get in touch with uh, Lady GG uh-huh. and uh, try and get that that Millie. That's right. Well, do you think that, that my my next question for you is: Is she actually going to pay out that five million, or is she bluffing with her muffin, as it were? Does she is she, does Lady Gaga have a dare I say poker face? Oh shoot! If uh, if she pulls out on this, she's a real Judas. Oh, is that one of her songs as well? Yes. Oh, <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm sure she loves those dogs, but yeah. maybe there was some bad blood. Maybe it was more than just bad blood. Maybe it was a bad romance. I know. You know what? If there was enough paparazzi around when the uh, uh, it occurred, we would be able to probably find that uh, there would be pictures of this. Mm-hmm. So. I think we're learning that Lady Gaga should walk her own dogs because then you'd have paparazzi, you'd have witnesses. We're at, finding out that when, it, 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 it when we're that. acknowledging Lady Gaga as a dog mom, you're saying that she's rather shallow. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, 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 no. no. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. I maybe maybe that that is that is true. But what do you want from me uh, uh, regarding that? Ugh. It's call nine one one. That's another one. Okay, we're done. <laughs> this <laughs> is a perfect illusion, bro. Uh, oh, uh, I don't know if this is this I'm been sorry, running too far. This is all Brayton wanted to talk all about this we week. Know, he just all we wanted know, to do Lady Gaga we, listen, song puns. If you want to, if you want to get in touch, call late. If you if you are able to find these dogs, apprehend these dog nappers. Yeah. Call Lady Gaga on the t t telephone, t t t telephone, and uh, she'll probably hook you up. Okay. Conspiracy theory. Maybe it wasn't the dog on the inside. Maybe it was the two dogs that were tired of living with Lady Gaga and they set the whole thing up. They paid the dudes <gasps> with their pup cash. Wait. To come to shoot escape? the dog walker to escape because they want out. Oh, you think these dogs had like a million reasons to leave her? They were given a million reasons. Half a million reasons to bring them back. And, uh, All right, guys. Uh-huh. I think we're up to almost about ten songs that, that's more that than we've enough. incorporated Ugh. into this. That'll that'll slide into a good TikTok. Sure, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, fingers crossed. <laughs> we going viral, babe. Is Lady Gaga still trending? I mean, the story is, is but she, is as an artist. She had an album come out in 2020. I saw, but uh, she's she's like a 2010 kind you of think pop that, star in my mind. I mean, do you think that she potentially maybe? Maybe she dog mapped her own 
her own dogs. <laughs> she's been wearing she this dog. She's oh, well, been, what's her dog? Insurance maybe like? what she's trying to do is teach a lesson to the dog walker. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like if somebody shoots you, you that's not a good enough reason to to stop <laughs> taking care of my dogs. No, no, no. I'm saying uh, maybe Lady Gaga. <laughs> she's trying to prove a point. She's like, I don't like the route that she's been taking uh, my dogs on. So this is what I'll do. I'll dress up. Drive, she's got a lot of drive, a, a, lot. drive Did, a Nissan Altima yeah. and shoot them. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I, listen, I'm going to get into a disguise. I'm going to plaster myself with a little meat. She'll never see. She'll never recognize me. And I'll pop out. I'll say, ride this pogo stick. And in their confusion, shoot the dog walker. Take two of the dogs because maybe she she's like, I don't want that one anymore. Pull it and, you know, you keep your half a million. It's a conspiracy we, theory. We don't it's know. We don't, one. we don't know. Yeah. But yeah, obviously we don't know. We don't know. But, I, I hope Bradley Cooper is okay, though. Oh, I know that they're not like in a relationship or really like. I, no. I just know that they did that movie together and. Kind of pretty much completely unrelated. I just am hoping Brad Cooper is doing well for himself. Yeah, I think the last time th- this is just based off of the last time I saw the movie, she kind of left him hanging. Oof. Oh, I last time I saw Brad Cooper, um, I, he seemed to be doing pretty well. Oh, okay. All right. This is the last time you saw Brad. Yeah, in, tw- in, in twenty twenty, I saw him in twenty twenty. Oh, were you masked up? Was I masked up? You better have been. Yeah, we, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. it was in the and, thick of it, baby. Okay, okay. You, so hold on a second. Mm-hmm. T- uh, we're taking a little Dude, bit of a I turn told, here. I told you this story before okay. that I saw Brad Cooper. Okay, I, uh, you, you, you did, you mm-hmm. did, and I'm, uh, I want you to recount the story for everybody. Oh, for, and, oh, for the listeners, uh, for the listeners, and yeah. it ties in perfectly because by the end of the story, both mm-hmm. of you are drinking Coca Cola. Actually, so, that's a really good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just. You're thinking layers deep. All okay. right, so here we go. Backpedaling. Uh, middle middle of summer, uh, drove up to L.A. Uh, just for the day, you know. You know, what? like you do in 2020. Just like you do in 2020. Um, you go and, to the most locked down place in the United States, second to New York City. Uh, I mean, I just needed to get out. Yeah. I just needed a quick road trip. I I drove north, a quick, quick road trip on the five on a weekend. It was a hot, hot day. I just, I, it just ended up there. If I remember correctly, you said, um, before Joe Rogan leaves California, I need to get onto his podcast because <laughs> I can't, one- uh, I can't afford plane tickets. I need to find his place. I was like, I, you know what? I was like, there's no better time to slip myself in mm-hmm. with Mr. Joe Rogan than when, you know, things are, maybe there's a door open cause they're moving things out. There's movers. I could maybe like, you know, pretend I'm with the moving company or something. You and can then, kind of Buffalo bill yeah, it. Maybe. And then I can kind of just like take a seat, find a record button, hit that. And then be like, Hey Joe, could you have a seat really quick? I got some questions about the, 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 the move. And he's mm. like, yeah, sure. That sounds important. Yeah. Can and we I sit like, here for three hours, please? Yeah. And then we just, yeah. And then we smoke a lot of weed and then Naturally. talk about the universe and conspiracy theories. You know? uh, yeah. Yeah. The, it's, you know, I mean, that Solid was plan. That was yeah. So pretty much same trip. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, roaming around, I guess I was looking for where Joe Rogan was, <laughs> yes. but I found one better. Because, oh, okay. Yeah. So I was walking down Sunset Boulevard because I'm sure that's where Joe Rogan's studio is. That's I mean, allegedly, allegedly. If you're on the if you're looking on the right Reddit pages or the wrong Reddit pages, you eventually find yourself around. You're trying to find the star. You're yeah. trying to find the star. Yeah, I read it. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> so um, I was walking down the street. It was kind of hot, um, like you said. So I went up to a vending machine because I, I they still have some vending machines out there. That's in nice. LA. Yeah. So I was I was well, trying, the only store that's open. Yeah. So I was trying to decide between like getting a Dasani. Paying like three fifty for a design or something ridiculous like that, or just paying like even less money for a uh, Coca Cola, and I was like, I'm not a really big Coke person, but I don't want to spend. It was more. He said yeah, it was a hot day. It's just like I don't want to spend that much money on just water. I was like, I'm gonna get something. And I was like, it's a weekend. I was like, maybe I'll just indulge and get a, a soda pop. And you're in Hollywood, baby. So while while those questions are going through my mind, another guy. I mean, I'm I'm masked up. I got sunglasses and yeah. a hat on. Another dude walks up. Mm-hmm. Tall guy, tall okay. guy, handsome guy. We, uh, well, his eyes were handsome. Well, well he, had, he had sunglasses he had on. Dre- oh, he, he had, had like aviator, aviators on, but he had he had like the nice, like not long hair, but 
Quaff. Long quite yes. And then there was a little bit of product in there. Uh-huh. He had a he had a collared shirt. It was oh. unbuttoned to the second button. Oh. No undershirt. This is BC. Yep. Sleeves were rolled to about where I'm kind of where I four got army. mine. Up. Yeah, four army. Uh, this guy, yeah, tall guy. He had a. You could tell even though he had his uh, nice mask on that he had some grizzle. Mm-hmm. He had hadn't shaved in a few days, and mm-hmm. he's just. I mean, he, he's just a good looking guy. I yeah. just couldn't help but notice. And then uh, he had a essence. About that's him. right. That's right. And then that's when I realized that it was probably Brad Cooper. <gasps> And Whoa. so, uh, but I was like, I can't just start talking to him because like, you know, I, I can't be for sure. Yeah. And you then can't just, I was like, okay, if there, if I, and, and he's looking at the vending machine too. And oh. he's like, he's like, are you, are you waiting? I was like, yeah, I'm just trying to decide. Yeah. He's like, oh, trying to decide like what drink to get. And then I was like, that's it. That's perfect. I was like, no, I'm just trying to decide which hangover movie is my favorite one. Oh, and then, sly, mm-hmm, sly dog. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so then, where are you going? Yeah. And so he was like, oh, it's probably the first one's the best one. And I was like, okay. Everyone knows Brad know, Cooper's yeah, favorite. It's a, it's it's just, one of the hangovers is the first, is the first the one. Original. Yeah, He's a classy guy. He sticks yeah. with the classic he, original. He's self aware. So, yep. So then I was like, uh, hey, uh, this one's on me. <gasps> and then uh, I put in my money, got two Cokes. Tring. I said, hey, take care of yourself out there. And he said, okay, man. And then he left. Whoa. So that's how I met Bradley Cooper. Ah, uh, man. What a interaction. Was, I mean, you, I mean, allegedly it was Brad Cooper, but I mean, my system I mean, was you, flawless. You can't, <laughs> that was I, Brad Cooper. Ma- masculine uh, energy, mm-hmm. mask, aviators. Yeah. Accepts a Coca Cola. Acceptable uh, attitude of arrogance was there. Yeah. It was. It was. It was. It was perfect. And he didn't offer to buy you the Coke. No, 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 no. I offered him to buy the Coke. Uh, oh, you wait, you no. offered. Oh, yeah. And yeah. he, he oh, had yeah. like five too many wristbands, too many on like bracelets. Like he had way too He's many. He's well known for that. He's yeah. well known for that. So is Bradley Cooper. So I brought, I bought a Coca-Cola for Brad Cooper. Well, what a story. And now he probably would dump that Coca-Cola all over the ground because. Because of he, the hot water that because of Coca-Cola the Coca-Cola company. Because of the in. clam chowder. So. <laughs> as it were. As it were. The, so. Earlier this week, Coca-Cola, the company, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, released a statement. Or well, it, Coca-Cola did release a statement, but to back up, okay, I'll, I'll read the title first, and then we'll give a little bit of context, and then get into the article. It okay. says Coca-Cola slammed for diversity training that urged workers to be quote less white. Oof! How does that make you feel? Just that as as a white as a white guy, how does that make you feel? That there's you know a big company out there that's trying to tell their employees to be less of what they are. Like we can't choose our skin color. That'd be, that'd be pretty hard uh, (laughs) to do. I was like, dude, I, I, I'm super white. I know I'm super white. I'm trying to be less white, but it's not taking I'm trying my entire life. Uh, Also, uh, we work at (laughs) Coca-Cola. There's the, polar, the polar bears are white. I was like, yeah. are we going to get different the, kind of bears? The whitest drink we make. Like the, what's, wait, wait, what's more white, Coke or Pepsi? And why? Uh, Coca-Cola is more white. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah But yeah. I prefer Pepsi though. Because Pepsi's just a little bit cooler. Okay. And I hear, yeah, that's, <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I have to necessarily get into any more of that, but it's, okay. it, it, Pepsi's got that simple, uh, you know, almost basketball looking uh, logo. The logo's important. Yeah. And then Coco's, uh, Coca-Cola is just full of uh, cursive and uh, and snootiness. It's the it's the whitest of all the... I only see... Uh, wait, 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 wait. So you're saying that Coca-Cola is the Karen of the soft... S- oh, soft beverage for sure. Oh, I, no, 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 no. I, I take that back. Diet Coke is the Karen of the ah, soft, uh, there you go. Uh, soft drinks. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the uh, Coca Cola is just the standard, uh, if you would say, of privilege when it comes to. There are plenty of good sodas that are better, mm-hmm. if not better, than Coca Cola itself. But that is. Uh, it's around the longest. It's strong arms, everything. It's just a little ironic that the company that runs and uh, is uh, basically the uh, uh, the most privileged of the sodas <laughs> is saying that they need to be less white. Okay. All right. Let's, so let's see, what this art- let's see what the article has to say. This was published two days ago. So 
Hot topic, baby. Fresh. Nice and fresh. Coca-Cola employees were urged to be, quote, less white as part of the company's alleged diversity training, but the material was yanked offline following a viral whistleblower post. So one of the employees doing online training yeah. uh, was like, dude, this is not cool. I'm posting this online. Everybody needs to know about this. So to continue, the, quote, confronting racism, end quote, course in question was offered by LinkedIn Education and allegedly utilized by the soft drink Titan. In the U.S. and other Western nations, white people are socialized to feel as they are inherently superior because they are white, reads one of the slides, allegedly sent from an internal whistleblower and posted on Twitter by YouTube commenter Carlin Boreas Go. What a, what a last name. I mm. did not slide off the tongue. Part easily. of the Boreas Go family? <laughs> of course. Another slide suggests try to be less white with tips uh, that included <laughs> be less oppressive, listen, believe, and break with white solidarity. <laughs> the, the, like, Tim, can you take your clan's hood off uh-huh. during the meeting, please? Like, they just, they, they just now realize that they have a racist problem. They're like, guys, <laughs> maybe we should be a little less supremacy during our meetings. <laughs> You know, I was like, what kind of, I mean, like on the outside looking and we're like, can we be a less seems, oppressive? It's like, it seems oppressive to Ooh. white people, but we don't know the, we don't know the kind of business culture that Coke was running. Maybe, <laughs> maybe they like really, really needed it. Like, yeah, this they is they just, were like, you know what? There, I, <laughs> guys, there's a, there's a lot of hot water going on right now. I don't know if you've looked at a, uh, looked in the, uh, in the culture recently, but, uh, it's not hot to be racist anymore. <laughs> so uh, I think we need to update our stuff. And, we're, we're and uh, do, we got a nice we need little to be, education seminar need to from LinkedIn. We need to be less oppressive. <laughs> and uh, we're going to need to be a little less white. Maybe hire on a, l- be a little bit more. D- yeah. <laughs> be a little, a little more diverse. Yeah. They're like, hmm. <laughs> I mean, okay. So so you and I both went through not as aggressive of training as this, but we both worked at a company that was particularly a progressive company yeah as as far as the social aspect goes and yeah. hiring a, a nice diverse um staff and that yeah. that part was that was part was cool how um the the company that shall remain unnamed quick hang, quick quick uh, cold brew break hang okay on. yeah no, no no that's a beautiful beautiful mm. cold brew <sighs> i forget where this came from i don't know i don't know i'll, I'll, put, that, I'll put the logo out just, like, <laughs> just because that's how we always do it <laughs> just to be safe not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we worked for this company that they, you know, they actively strove to have a wide inclusive. diversity, very inclusive. inclusive and that part was kind of it was it was nice to have such a a diverse um, um it, it actually client. is yeah. it actually is good to see companies that are that are like that making, large that that making an effort to to make sure that they're not stepping on anybody's toes. Ha. It yeah. what, sometimes cat gets a little bit out of the bag and like sure. come on, people. exactly. There's Let's there was there are a couple very subtle eye roll moments, but there was never anything on during the diversity training seminar or videos or discussions that we had mm-hmm. that said be less white. There no, no, are no, no, things no. that you know they pointed out. You know, even though white people are the majority in this country, still that it's like even. You know, you it, still need to treat, even though somebody is of what would be considered a minority group, don't treat them as a smaller of a, or a lesser person, which is a right. message everybody should, in general, you yeah. know, get behind. Yeah, no, it's it, it, but, it, it's true. But Coca Cola really flipped the script and just is basically being like, they "Hey, were, it was like a slap in the face, kind of yeah. like we are turning things around." Mm-hmm. Now, do you feel like you have an upper hand as a? A white person, if you were sorry, if you worked at Coca Cola, as a white person, do you have an upper hand to succeed in that company versus somebody that is not born white? I have no idea. I like. I don't I, know. What I, I really couldn't. I, I I really couldn't speak to the intricacies of the uh, soft serve soda industry <laughs> and how uh, uh, how their power structures are are in place. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? I will continue to avoid coca-cola just for my health and now for their bigotry and now now you you know what however you land on this coca-cola thing whether you're like you support it you don't support it whatever you want to ignore it you want to share it on the social media it just really makes me want to drink pepsi more and i don't drink a whole lot of soda because you know it's not the best thing for you but now it just better solidifies that pepsi really is my go-to uh cola yeah I, awesome. I I wonder if 
Pepsi, this is now your time to shine. Mm-hmm. Find a find a find a good slogan. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe like a Pepsi, Pepsi. Be who you are. Be who you are. Brother. But no, but but not if you're a racist. Sorry. But, no, oh, no. Yeah, that was the use of workshopping. Maybe <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe like Pepsi. We're already doing good. <laughs> Pepsi. I, we're not Coca-Cola. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pepsi. We've been not racist for a while now. <laughs> yeah. uh, Pepsi. Sunkiss. We have right. that. Oh, speaking about racism, I okay. think we've talked about racist soda companies long enough. Tell me tell me what uh what the next segment that we're going to be talking about there's a group of lovable characters that have been around for a long time that are also having some fingers pointed Man, at them for being racist what's going is, on it is uh, cancel culture is alive and well and it's uh, rough out there the the henson family is not uh immune immune to yeah. it there's no safe even even a, a safe place like sesame street Correct. Well, actually, the but Muppets and Sesame Street are Muppet. different. Yeah, yeah. They're, 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 they, the they have their variety. own kind of thing. All right, so, but the Muppet. It, it was found out earlier this week that the Muppets are also racist. But how can they be racist because they're fake puppets? They're, no, they're no, puppets. no, 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 no. It, and it's what? definitely not who you think they are. Uh, okay. uh, what Waldorf and what's the uh, the other old dude's the name? Other old dude. Yeah. Waldorf and his buddy, yeah. Waldorf and the old white guys. Oh, God, Crotchety yeah, the old guys. Yeah, the the old hecklers. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah. You'd yeah. think it would be them, right? The, yeah, of course. The two old white guys. Yeah, they, that are they were in the just, Civil War. They fought on the South. Wait, they did? I'm, allegedly. I don't know. <laughs> Go, Google that. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's not them. Apparently, well, apparently, it's the whole show. The whole show is racist. I was gonna the think, Muppets. Oh. The show. Well, okay. Basically, okay, Gonzo. I. I uh, I, I basically, I think this is a, it's a little bit it's a little bit more of a uh, uh, of a clickbaity title. Title. Mm-hmm. It's basically Disney Plus that hosts the Muppet Show. You can watch the the Muppet Show in its entirety on Disney Plus okay. uh, streaming. And basically, what they're doing for the older episodes, they are putting a uh, kind of almost like a trigger warning at the oh, beginning like a, of it, like a disclaimer. Yeah, saying like the uh, we do not condone racism. This this was filmed during a time where like the culture was different and we're really, really sorry and please still uh, subscribe to our channel. Do they have, stuff. do they have to apologize for life being different 10, 20, 30, 30 years ago? It, as with all these companies, all these companies, what they're trying to do is just protect their base. And they know that there, there's a shift in, in culture right now where canceled culture, if you're not towing the politically correct line that they will, uh, they will go, uh, for the bottom line, and and all these companies are virtue signaling yes. uh, to uh, to be more in tune with the with what the culture is wanting. But and to go as far as I understand the the ideas and the motivation behind said cancel culture, but to go after something as beloved as the Muppets that are. Even though, like, the jokes are a little dicey, and they maybe not everything is inc- aged as well. As inclusive of interspecies uh, marriage of the frog and the the uh, pig, uh, the pig, Gonzo and the chicken. Oh my goodness! How can you be pointing fingers and be like that's offensive? That is the most diverse I have ever seen. Yes, like that taught that taught me all about inclusivity. That, yeah, it's like you know what? I've had plenty of hook nosed blue friends. Well. We need more. And I've made love to several chickens. <laughs> made s- <laughs> Did you know that when chickens have sex, they die? Wait, hold on. What? At least the ones that I had sex with. No. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> that was an old joke. Sorry. Ah. Jeez, I didn't make that up. No. Oh, okay. That's good. No. Okay. That's a, that's, a, that's a fun one. I haven't had sex with chickens. He's the chicken lover. No, 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 no. no. I eat chickens. He had sex with somebody at a KFC bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that was the closest thing to <laughs> She She made sounds like, <laughs> extra crispy. <laughs> <laughs> How many? <laughs> Did you get the gravy? Secret blend of herbs and spices. <laughs> oh, secret. I, love I don't pets. know. Anyway, why? What are we talking about? Muppets. Muppets. Uh, racism. Uh, Should they be canceled? Absolutely not. Okay. No. No. no, no. All right. No. And uh, but okay. okay. If you okay. Here's, who's the most here's also here's also a reason why they are the most inclusive show ever. This is why they should never ban the Muppets ever. Is because they've always befriended that giant ugly creature 
that is always in all the movies that I found was always scary. It's that one. Uh, it's that one dude who has those big old bug eyes, the big nose, the and big the... nose, and he's like ten feet taller than everybody else, and he talks like. Dum, 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 dum. Yeah. I, I I always found him scary as a child, and no that's one not, ever no one ever called it out. That's not no a, one ever said go away. That's not a Muppet dude. That guy was Jamaican. Ooh, am I being racist? <laughs> you're being very oh, very, you're, you're, that right, was just you, a regular you, guy. You, <laughs> Bray, am I about let's, to? Get, let's listen. Let's. I'll am talk, I about to get canceled? Listen, you just. Should I be less white? You, you should be. You should take some notes from Coca Cola, and you should be less white. Coca Cola, hire me so I can be less just, white. You just said a dude with dreads that sounds different from you is annoying, and you basically insinuated that he's less intelligent because he's different. No, than no, you. no, no! I just said that he scares me. <laughs> Yo, also I'm just saying that if I saw this Muppet on the street... Hang on, wait, let's make this more awkward. No, 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 no. Wait, <laughs> go ahead, put the effort in. So about your apology. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying... <laughs> okay, good. I'm just saying, <laughs> if I saw this Muppet walk on the same side of the street as me, I would probably cross the street. He's an intimidating dude, yeah. I He, he usually plays a bad guy. In in the Muppet movie Road Trip, uh, uh, I, I believe it was the one that goes, Roman, ride along. Do, oh. do, 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 mm-hmm. do, do. I, uh, it's not the great Muppet caper. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember which one. I think it's just the regular Muppet movie. It's like the original one. Uh... He lifted a whole car. He moved the car so like, right away. Guy. Yeah. Yeah, like... Uh, he works on his body. Like, he's a... He keeps it tight. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I, he was intimidating. Okay, so now especially that as a child, I don't think we need to talk about any more like racist Muppets, but I do want to keep talking about Muppets. Okay, let's. Uh, do we have? Did a, you ever put your fist full? Fist in one? Have you ever fisted a Muppet? Have I ever fisted a puppet? Uh, sure. I've never met any of the Muppets before. Okay. I, have, did I audition for the show as a child? Maybe. Okay. I got. I was too busy trying to fist puppets though. <laughs> They're like this guy. Mommy, he was like, I really want to get on the Muppets. I was like, let me get inside of that. They're like, that's kind of weird because you're five. <laughs> it's like, no, that's cool. And they're like, what is that? And they're like, oh, this? It's a vat of, you know, something. It's squish. a lot of suppressed memories is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of squishing going on on, the, on that lot. Okay, okay so anyway. Um, I, oh, I wanted to say, um, who who are the like the biggest? biggest uh, the bigots? <laughs> no, no. Oh, you're man. the bigot. No, okay. Who are the biggest advocates for diversity on the cast of the Muppets to prove that they are not racist, that they are super inclusive? I think number five, we already said that big guy. We don't know his name he, because he oh he proof that the, Mupp- the proof that the Muppets are, are actually inclusive. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, we're yeah. kind of staying on topic, but we're yeah. So so we already have him, the yes. big big guy. Who yeah. who I think Gonzo. Gonzo comes to mind for my number four because not only is he like different and very like charismatic and a unique personality he's not even from this planet people don't know what he is and they they uh, kinda, exactly the, the the closest thing that they towed a line of of uh uh of being a little uh uh bigoty uh-huh. is that is they will bring it up like i don't even know what you are you know what yeah and, they do. and i think and, and Gonzo's think like, God's he, like i don't know what he, I exactly am he accepts, he's like i don't know what i am either but yeah. his and it's kind of sad because his best friend's a rat so it's kind of it's Rizzo really, the rat yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so it's like gonzo is an immigrant because he's not from this planet. Needless to say, so he's a he's a he's an immigrant, and he's probably not super wealthy because he he hangs out with rats. I do believe in uh, the Muppets in outer space. Uh, does establish that he is in fact an alien. Yes, I yes, think yes and he finds canon. his people. But you know what? He, the beautiful thing is with that storyline. Even when he finds his people, and they're like, "Come back to his Gonzo," like, like you you belong here. He's like, you know what? Thanks for that. I always can return to that, but I'm I accepted. Have, yeah, my family is here. They're right. not my biological family, but I have a place here, and that's just the most beautiful message of diversity. So, Agreed. how could how could they be pointing can cancel culture fingers at something like that whenever you have somebody like Gonzo on the team? So yes. that's why he's my number four. Um, I would say that the uh, the next person who number yeah, three. Yeah, yeah number three who? Swedish chef. Swedish chef smorgasbord. Nobody understands what he's saying. No, but and he's got but he's, face and he's yeah human hands. <laughs> terrifying, kind yeah. of kind of terrifying. But he's always employed. Like, yeah, and uh, he's constantly cooking. Yeah, he's, this dude's a hard he's, worker. He's a hard worker. Immigrant, and he's an immigrant. Another immigrant. Yeah, good good on those Muppets because mm-hmm. the it's it's not like Kirsty Bergy It's not like uh the minorities 
uh, in the United because it's it is taking place in the United States. It's not like the minorities well, it takes place are, everywhere. Oh, sure, they, they go to Europe, but uh, but I'm saying like usually when there's like a group of oh, yeah. characters in a TV show, or whatever in America, especially back then, it's mostly white people, and then there's like one or two token characters yeah, yeah. that are not white dudes. Yeah, but dude, the Muppets, even though they're not humans, they're they're not American dudes. Like mm-hmm. they're people from all walks of life that come from all over the place. Yeah. All right. Who do we got next? Number um, two. Number two, uh, Fozzie Bear. Now, really? Know, it's kind of, I know he's a Jewish cookie, he's cookie a Jewish cutter. Bear. We don't know he's a Jewish bear. He's, he's a Jewish. You seen <laughs> Dude, that guy. Have you heard his it? Waka waka. That guy. Um, oh, he, the classic Jewish phrase. Waka waka. No, no, no. He's dude. If there's a, I'm not. Oh, you say because he's really funny. Yeah, he's super funny. Okay. Yeah, he he like he's the, he's the insider dude on the biz. Oh, um, in comedy. Yes, exactly. And I'm just saying, like, you you don't you can't guess anybody's like heritage or religion basically just by watching the Muppet movies, except for him. Like, you're like, I I know what the producers and the creators of the show are going for, and I appreciate that they were so heavy handed with the the Jewishness with that character. Okay. Very, very nice. Apparently, it went right over your head. No, I did not pick up on that when I was four. So, (laughs) yeah. You're like, this guy just talks a lot about banks and and, and showbiz. (laughs) (laughs) Go back and watch it, everybody. He is nailing it. Exactly. And then, of course, I don't. Kermit and Miss Piggy. Exactly. Obviously. Because they don't, they're not, society says that they don't belong together because their genitals don't work together that way. <laughs> it's it's an literally impossible for this to happen. But, but they, they make, make it, it work. work. It's exactly. a beautiful thing. And also the uh, the body positivity and the ferocity that, the, I would say, the Beyonce level of, uh, the, uh, of uh, Miss Piggy. Hold on a second. I want to say this it, 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 in as much confidence. The Beyonce level of confidence that Miss Piggy has back from back in the day, mm-hmm. bar none. Exactly. There is no body shaming. She is. She wears the pants in the relationship. Oh, of course. She, she's a strong, independent woman. Yeah. But she loves Kermit, and Kermit kind of understands that even though he's a successful dude, you know, smart, smart frog, he's kind of like the, yeah. he's the leader more or less of the group. He still plays second fiddle to somebody as strong of a character as Miss Piggy, and, who knows what she wants. And it just goes to show you, even if, even if you are a backwoods frog who knows that, who is, cause whose main hobby is to play the banjo. And he's from the South. That's right. Even you can get yourself a pig. You sure can. And it, it really does reinforce, uh, everything about, the uh, pro- the progressive level of feminism back in the day when all that happened and like you oh, already girls, said the body shaming is not there there yeah. girl pigs can fight they can protect their man mm-hmm. they stand up yeah she stands up for Kermit all the time and like beats up dudes for Kermit constantly so you're trying to say I don't know uh, pigs are violent and so yeah exactly so I think if they're adding a disclaimer saying like hey there's things that are offensive in the show it might offend you but I, like they, check out this stuff yeah they should add a second disclaimer that says either before or after the the said disclaimer yeah they should be also progressive as hell like pay attention to the positive stuff not just the negative things that you're trying to you know look for that to cancel don't try to find things to cancel if something's worth canceling enough people on the internet will cancel it but i think more now than ever we need to point our fingers at the things that have been around long enough that are enforcing good stereotypes diversity like be like hey muppets has been around for a while but look at all the good things that they've done and the lessons they've taught us i'm gonna i'm gonna say just notes Mm -hmm. too long of a disclaimer (laughs) <laughs> it's a bit wordy. Yeah. That's going to be it's that's going to be a it's, paragraph it's, on a paragraph. It's one of these but wait, hit pause, hit pause, hit pause. Hit pause. Hit pause. I Hold on, it. Dang it. Uh, I feel like they were trying to tell me something important. Obviously. But let the let, let I, I didn't say it. that's not a quote. Let, but that's the, let the show yeah. speak for itself. Yeah. And if the Confederate flag sometimes appears behind Johnny Cash, so be it. <laughs> All right? <laughs> we're we're part of we're part of yeah. it. Yeah. Like the it, it, you take the good, you take the bad, mm-hmm. and at the end, what do you have? Muppets, Coca Cola. <laughs> so no, that's mostly bad. Let's get anyway. So hey, we we talked about the things that we, we said that we were going to talk about at the beginning of the episode. We did. All right. So yeah, we talked about Lady Gaga and the dog again. If you have any leads on her missing dogs or other doggies, 
Uh, go ahead. Just give her the ring. Ding. Yeah. ding. Uh, that you, is in a song is that, from hers. Is that red light blink in the recording? Yes, it is. One? Sweet. So, Just making sure. We did that. We talked about Coca Cola and how they're in hot water. We talked about the Muppets. We did. Was there anything mm-hmm. else that we did say that we were going to touch on, but we, we didn't get didn't. to? We didn't, but we have plenty okay. of time now. Okay, hold we on. Blew, I, wanted to, I wanted to. We, we blew through it. Yeah, um, maybe. We even met Brad, potentially Bradley Cooper on oh, the yeah, way. Oh, yeah. I got to share my Brad Cooper story. So, um, <clears throat> I wanted to bring up just a quick conversation of, uh, we're on a lot of social media yeah. right now, and one of the biggest things that we've gotten on now but, is TikTok. As of recently, yeah, pretty recent. We're on and the TikTok trend. So we are, this is the first time me and you have gone on TikTok, yeah. just experiencing it. We mm-hmm. tried to stay away from it, but you know what? China's going to take over. Exactly. I, and, and I guess, I don't know for for my, re- whatever, for, for whatever reason, we did feel like either we were too old or we didn't want to sell our privacy to China, but it's like, we're already selling our privacy to Apple and everybody else that and, uses a smartphone. Yep, exactly. So what's the point? Here we go. Why are we, de- why are de- we depriving ourselves? All of our information and we're trying to, is gone. And this pretty much is a brand. The Noisy Business Productions, we're trying to expand and grow our audience. We're trying so to why would we Why would we neglect that kind of outlet that yeah. has a whole new, because they're a younger group of people. Like, let's do it. Let's just yeah. jump in. And we did. And we're, spread, and we're, we're spreading our, our noise. So, yeah. I'm gonna now spread, that dude, we're spreading our hot noise all over, <laughs> oh all over gosh. the place, dude. I, I I get so worked up whenever I keep I you know like when I'm going to bed at night, I always think about how, like all all that noise that I'm gonna spread, and then I'm gonna just like get the noisy business like all up in there, <sighs> all up in that place, all up in that app. Mm-hmm. So scrolling through it, this app is going to be the death of us. The death of us. It is going to kill us because it is. It is Vine 2.0. Okay. I think even better. You're saying that TikTok is better than Vine that is no longer the, an app? The experience of this app, it takes away the problems of, of kind of YouTube in the fact that it's it, it has the problem. It has the constraining nature of of creativity. You can only make you can only make it so long. But the stuff that you can be creative with is 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 very vast, and the when uh the and how t- TikTok works is it's all all videos, and you go from one video to the other by kind of how we naturally swipe through kind of like Instagram, but it's one video to the other, one video to the other, and yes. and through this they're able to use the algorithm to, and kind of curate what they put in front of you pretty easily, and I'm gonna say that I have. It is a time suck. So you're saying you you lose you lose track of time because it's just brain candy. It's just boom boom boom. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Yeah, and and in a video format, everything's flashy. Everything's fast. And if you don't like it, you swipe up again. What's the next one? You don't have that thing in the in the YouTube algorithm where you're looking at uh, thumbnails and you're like, ooh, what's the title of this? What 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 might ha- uh, this video what am I interested? Is, this video in? six minutes long. Do yeah, I have, exactly. Am I really you don't know. It, it could be it's, it could be ten seconds. It could be a whole minute. Sure. And you're just swiping through and and seeing what. What's what's gonna happen? And if it tickles your fancy, boom! You you maybe rewatch it again, and then you go on to the next one, yeah. and you don't know what you're going the, to see. The pacing is so fast. You it's know like, what it's similar to? It's like Vine on cocaine. It's similar to how you watch porn. What? You just kind of like, oh, where's the next video? I'm at, you know. I, I think it's uh, you, uh, how the modern day how the modern day person. If no, 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 you, if no, no, no. Tell me more about how, you how the, you listen, know all about the ins and outs of the porn industry. If you've read, the, a, if you read the studies I have, I've I've read uh, I've read several. Studies. You've read you you read articles, right? I read articles. You don't know from first listen hand experience what you say. If, I'm wearing I'm wearing a vest, sir. You must take me serious. <laughs> I uh, listen. I wear I wear colored shirts and vests but, and hats. Yes. So, so, uh, on that topic, I, I don't I don't want to derail anything, but I do need to. It's an important topical question. Ready? When is Winds of Winter coming out? Why haven't you published that book yet in the Game of Thrones series? I've been on TikTok, and it's sucking the time. Oh. Yeah, listen, this, listen. Is George, visual, George, this is a visual. This is a visual joke. George, uh, so yes. everyone on the podcast, I'm wearing a George R. R. Martin. Hat. Yeah, um, George, I'm, I'm ch- you're channeling a lot of George. So uh, we need more dragons, less trendy uh, teenage dance videos, and mo titties. Yeah. So, well, yeah, there's always room for that. So, from all the articles that I've read, the m- men tend to scroll 
through pornography just from it being there's so many different kinds of porn nowadays that it's men just you don't just click one porn that's all that you're gonna watch is, and is that's it the a porn one? for the day you're okay. it's it's just like youtube so you know think- things but you just scroll through what's what's TikTok the chemi- is going to take over what's the is it that? serotonin is that the chemical that's releasing your brain that is giving you that feeling of happiness Whenever you get like a little bit of a high or a pleasureful thing. So the, like if you're the pre nut atonium, <laughs> sure. You, okay. You, we could call it that. Is, is that, is it a similar experience? You're getting like a, whether you're doing drugs or it's the same thing that happens in your brain whenever you're waiting for your food at a restaurant and they finally bring it out and you kind of get that. Like, it's almost like a quick little rush, you know? Yeah. There's a chemical that's being released in your brain. That's like, Oh man, we're excited. Like it's giving you happiness, right? Is, is that the same thing that's being released in your brain in TikTok? Is, is, is there a chemical imbalance because I, of this? App? I, I think so because you're just swiping on to the next move, uh, the next video it's just and pleasure. you just keep on, it, it just keeps on going. Oh, cool. That's nice. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. Though. Oh, cool. That's nice. That's it's why just kids, kids, constantly. kids attention spans are going to be shorter than ever because you need to be quick, loud, flashy, and then they're going to move on to the next you're thing. You're going to be, yeah, you're going to be busted. There's going to be so many people that are going to go viral. They're just going to, instead of somebody kind of going viral and being a thing and slowly fading out, it's just going to be like famous, not famous, famous, not famous. Like at anybody, this app, really, you can yeah. be almost anybody. You one just moment, have to be the right thing. Yeah. At one moment, you're you're buying Coke from a vending machine. The next moment, moment you're, you're on buying, TikTok. You're buying and, a Coke for Bradley Cooper. And somebody's shooting your dog walker. It is just, <laughs> you, the life is crazy and might as well just... Do a little dance for 15 seconds sure. to a famous song on the, the TT. So anyway, I guess this is a really good time to plug. Hey, follow us at Noisy Business on, on TikTok. TikTok. We're there. We're posting stuff. We're on Instagram. We're also clicks. on Facebook. We're also on YouTube. And we're posting our stuff. And from some of the comments that we get, we're bound to blow up. Yeah, people, people actually, surprisingly, you know, one of the reasons that we didn't want to get into TikTok because we felt like we were too old to jump onto that trend. We are. To but, be fair. We, we are. are. Look at us. But but uh, but the the community over there seems to be like the the most welcoming and that we're getting the most positivity from from that crowd, which is very fun. Yeah, it's very nice. They get us. So we're we're, tr- we're, we're gonna we're gonna keep pretending to be younger than we are. But if you are listening to this podcast, we do appreciate every single listen that you are. That's right. What can they do to that like button, Brayton? You know what. You can annihilate it. Annihilate it. You can sit, smash it. Set your booty right on that like button. You just, Let it sit there for a bit. Get your stinker and just <laughs> pound it on that like button. Yikes. But what about the sharing option? Should they just ignore that? Get your little stupid sweaty finger and just share that. Okay. Little. But then but then there's not enough time to acknowledge the comment section, right? Get your little brown nose. Get into that comment section and, and just boost our egos, baby. Boost our just egos a, and peck it. Just I want you peck to it. inflate our inflate our egos. Just make our brains just slowly, yeah, expand. Mm-hmm. I need to feel good about myself this weekend, you guys. Yeah, if you want to leave us a review That's on right. iTunes or anything like that, show our su- weekend, show us some support That's and right. l- give us some love. We're, we're growing week in week out. We're here for you guys, and you know what? Above all, you know what we're gonna do? Stay, Stay noisy. noisy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I don't have the outro music queued up. So just go ahead and stay noisy then. Yeah. yeah.